What's up everyone? Welcome to episode 19 of this vlog about growing my tiny tropical garden. This week I've started to divide the cannas. I left half in the ground and I lifted half of them and put them in a pot. The ones that I overwintered in a pot are the easiest to divide. You can see all of the different growing tips here and I'm just going to tape to them with a saw and see how many separate plants I can get. You can see I've sawn right through the rhizomes. This should create a healthy plant so long as there's enough of a root system attached to each growing point. And from this one pot I've managed to get several plants and I'm going to spread these around the garden and I can do the same each year and get more and more plants. Cannas are awesome for this. Talking of cannas, I've added a canna musifolia to my garden. I have wanted one of these for ages, and because it was mentioned on Gardener's World, I couldn't find one anywhere, but eventually I got one and I've put it in the border. I've also added a hedicium. This one is greeny eye. It has orange flowers, but a lovely red tinge to the stem and the underside of the leaves. I grew a canna in this spot last year and it completely blocks everything behind it and the hedicums or gingers are a lot more open and the geranium madarens just keeps putting out these beautiful magenta flowers. There were a couple of frosts and I was worried I was going to lose them but it's got through perfectly fine. A friend at work has kindly given me some cuttings of her lampranthus. There's some red flowering ones and some pink flowering ones and I'm going to use these to plant around the pebble stream but I'm also going to try and solve a problem I've got with a cracked pot. First up is the problematic area I have between the patio slabs. There's a slight gap and it's really hard to get anything to grow but these succulents should love it here as it bakes in the sun. Once the young cuttings were in, I surrounded them with stones just to make the whole thing look a lot more natural. I then set about using the leftover cuttings and cuttings of anything else I could get in the garden to fill the cracks in the pot. My dream is to have this looking as natural and aged as possible and if I can get greenery growing in amongst the cracks it's going to look like it's been this way for ages. The polonia tree that I did the pollard cut on has got these enormous buds on the side so it's about to come out into full leaf and this is going to look fantastic. I have this really tropical looking primula and I think the cultivar is gold lace and I bought this as a single plant last year but there are separate growth points here so again I think I can have a go at dividing this to get more plants. It wasn't much effort at all, they came apart really easily and I've spread these around the garden. Hopefully I can divide again next year and get a lovely underplanting of this because it's a really nice flower for spring. The other tropical looking tree that we've got in the garden is the Catalpa bignoides or the golden Indian bean tree. This is coming into bud and should be in leaf very soon. And my favourite euphorbia is just about to burst into flower. It is absolutely covered in these wrapped up flower buds and you can see the size of the plant now. It's going to look amazing when it's in full bloom. And the heucheras that I divided in the garden last year are also putting up flower buds. These have really dainty looking white flowers held above the colourful foliage. Now the weather here in Dorset is really starting to heat up. But these glorious clear skies mean that at night, one night this week, there was a risk of a hard frost. So I fleeced everything just in case. On quick inspection the next day, everything was absolutely fine and it was a false alarm. And I know I posted a picture of my fleeced plant on Instagram and a lot of you followed suit. Better safe than sorry. Now don't forget, subscribe, comment below and cheers for watching. Have a great weekend.